Well, right now, world leaders are gathering in London ahead of the Queen of England's funeral tomorrow morning. Back here in the Beehive State, local beekeepers are honoring the crown through a special tradition. Well, new specialist Shelby Lofton tells us how the honeybees are connected to the queen. Shelby. Yeah, Dan, a lot of people didn't know that the queen had her own royal beekeeper, and one of his jobs was telling her honeybees that she had passed away and her son would be taking over. And it turns out it's a tradition that beekeepers tell their bees about major events, and that tradition is practiced here in the beekeeping community of Utah. Sometimes the queen dies or she gets old or... or uh, something bad happens. Stephen Maycock isn't talking about Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. He's talking about the queen bee who lives in his backyard hive. My wife calls me a bee whisperer. Hi, girls. For seven years, he's reigned over almost... 90,000 bees. Every day over that period of time, he talks to them. We're just going to share some of your beauty. So when the Queen of England passed away, he broke the news to the bees. Legend goes that if you didn't do that, then the bees would leave. Across the pond, the Queen's royal beekeeper informed her bees their monarch had passed and King Charles III would take over. That tradition goes clear back into Celtic times where they, the mythology goes that when something good or bad happens, you need to inform the bees. Maycock says you tell the bees about death, births, and marriages. He and his wife are celebrating their own. Good afternoon. I wanted to remind you that today is our 40th wedding anniversary. The Utah beekeeper says he finds comfort connecting with the royal family this way. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, everyone can mourn the loss of a, of a reigning monarch. While he nurtures his honeybees. There's one queen in this hive. I've seen her one time. He honors the legacy of a queen who guided her people for 70 years. She had a great disposition, and I think that helped her people also to have that same kind of dispositions. As the worker bees pollinate this sandy neighborhood under the rule of their queen, stories of the late monarch swarm around the world. So Maycock told me if you don't tell your bees about major life events like a death, you could risk having a low honey supply. And in doing some research on this story, I read that some beekeepers will even go as, so far as to drape a black uh, cloth over their hive. They will always approach their hives in a hushed tone and gently knock to let them know about any news. And Maycock says he's going to keep talking to the bees so we can keep up his good luck with honey. Back to you guys. <laughs>